So I'm going to think about you as a teacher for a while. Uh, uh. <laughs> 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 someone who's had great teachers, it sounds like, and um, well, maybe even starting there, you know, some of your, who's some, you mentioned Sterling Plump and um, Phil Levine. Um, so you've had some great teachers, Kave Khanum. What do you, what are some things you try to get to your students, give to your students in, in the class? You know, you have somebody sort of come in either, I don't know anything about poetry, right. or I want to be a poet when I grow up, <laughs> you know. Right. What do you try to, what do you try to give your students? Um, I think uh, one job is to, to demystify mm -hmm. not a lot of poetry. You know, you know, people encounter poetry in elementary school, and someone's telling them that they have it has, something has to be iambic and right. blah blah blah. And, and you know, I'm not, I don't, I don't, um, I don't, I, I, you know, fully dismiss right. those those, uh, those the ideas of meter and blah blah blah, etc. But I don't emphasize it. I, I, I want to introduce people to contemporary poets that are doing, their, doing what they do right now and so, so they can relate to it mm -hmm. and then lead them back into the history of, well, who influenced them? Okay, then who influenced that person? Then who influenced that person? Then you start to get into, you know, uh, a, 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 a kind of historical understanding of mm -hmm. poetry, of, of the literature. Um, and really to have fun. You know, my, my, my rule is if I'm having fun, then you're probably having fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, you know, to have fun, crack a few jokes, you know, share a few poems, and uh, to have them enjoy the act of writing poems without fear of, oh, this is an A poem, this is an F poem, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera.